at Lowe's Clark. Now I've run into some problems with uh, a little problems with Russian vids because the fact that you know um, I see I've seen videos before that says you know click on there to see about you know Russian vids exposed in a shill and all this stuff but I ignored that because I liked his videos and I didn't want to hear that but when I start looking into my own investigation to what he's saying if you don't check, you're gonna be, you're gonna be misled now, because I caught myself in some. I I found misinformation, disinformation, okay, on there. And here's the thing. Look, I don't want people to. This is what they're all gonna say. They're gonna say you're jealous, you're hating, this and that. No, I'm not, because I actually liked what he had to say and liked his character, okay, but. When you see it, you gotta call it, okay? Now, here's something, a guy, Russian Vids, who's telling you every day that if you are not one with them, that you are gonna get crumbs. Yet, right now, he's very highly successful, I would say, as a YouTube partner. And moving up pretty high on the scale compared to some of these people and uh, a lot of people are going to argue, well, he's got, he's worked on quality on his content. And he puts up pictures and he, he really leads you down, you know. And a lot of things are true. What he talks about doesn't mean people don't do disinformation, okay? Misinformation. And I'm not saying that's what is exactly the case, but I found my own case to be Seems like misleading information. Some of that information seems misleading. Whatever purpose. But I want to make this statement clear and a question. Shout out to you, Russian vids. To you. Russian vids. Okay? Russian vids news. Russian vids news channel. Russian vids one. All that stuff. Okay? You're... You keep repeating that you will not get any success in entertainment or any of these fields, and you, you can't have you're, you're just going to get crumbs, okay, unless you have bowed to the system or doing or being used by this system until you're no longer usable and they get rid of you, or if you're being used somehow by the system, by the beast, by the Illuminati, the Freemason Society, secret societies satanic societies on and on right all these societies are connected well this guy is preaching at you telling you that uh, it's the only way you're going to get success in life the only way and he says sometimes there is exceptions just like they, they should be you know people should say that there's exceptions there's always some exceptions sometimes okay when it comes to certain things like this but i want to point out is the fact that you're preaching and telling people, everybody that you, t you subscribe, that subscribe to you, you're telling them all that you get crumbs and nothing, and they're not going to promote you unless you're in on it with them, then you're going to be promoted. And so whether you know it or not, or whether it's by your choice or not, you see all this success on your channel. Have you thought, not thought that you're being promoted against your own will, with or without your own consent? Because success, you said, is equal to being in on it with them. You keep uh, repeating this over and over and over to everybody else. How come it doesn't apply to you and your own life? Okay, that is the question. Not being a hater, not trying to be disrespectful, not trying to make it personal, no, and you better not even try to threaten my family like I've seen the comments that you've had erased where you've said, oh, nice family, Nikki baby, and all this stuff to this guy, Nick, okay, and you've tried to expose some things that uh, just didn't set right with him about you, okay? And when you write and threaten things, oh, nice house, you better clean it up. That sounds real familiar. That sounds like what these people 
how these people threaten these agents, okay? I've been victim of these people already too, so I know. So when you're making those threats to people and you say, oh, nice family and all these kind of things, that's, dude, you're going totally against what you, how you act like you're a man in, in, on your channel. But you're, you're threatening anyone's family. I don't care whose it is. If you're threatening anyone's family, you, won't, you got a problem with a guy or maybe a female one-on-one, -on -one, that's between you and them. Leave their kids and their family out of it, okay? But I've seen, those I've seen that he had them documented, these threats that you made. And that did not sound like a very good vigilant watchman, okay? That sounds like a person that is um, taking it personal or has been exposed and is now showing their true colors or something to that effect. So beware of who you pay attention to because like me, I'm very, I'm, I'm easily misled sometimes because I like people's characters or they sound legit and I've checked out a couple other things that they say and it seems like it has some kind of plaus plausibility to it and, and then I don't go enough into the research and continue researching everything that they say and um, get caught up in this stuff like uh, bang thing ow and holy book and those kind of things. Something wrong with the picture. If you're telling people part of a story and not the whole thing, okay? So shame on me, you know, but shame on them too. And at least I stand up and say, yeah, I'm wrong or yeah, I'm right. You know, that shows the integrity and what, where's your integrity, your character at? If you can admit faults. People that can't admit faults are called, uh, usually they're narcissistics and they're uh, sociopaths. And, you know, yeah, I'd probably have to drink a gallon of whiskey to get a tear out of me, a real tear, for me to cry uh, about anything, okay? But... Does that make me inhuman? No. I don't think so. I don't know. That doesn't make me a sociopath or a narcissist either. Anyway, so that is the issue. And with all that said and done, uh, you know, people know that I have the experience with this, with this disinfo, misinfo agents on YouTube. Such as some people I'm not going to mention their names because it, you want to follow along. No, and if you don't, go back and check. But I'll mention the other names, okay, that are associated with it, and that's VK Clark and her threatening me and my family as well and doxing me, which I had to straighten her out, talk to her about that, fix that problem, and. The other person I said, I'm not going to mention them, they're not on there anymore, okay? They're not on there anymore. And I'm sorry that YouTube can't handle uh, their level of intense uh, research and just every day on top of what they believe or what they pretend to believe or whatever. Okay, QC? Hmm. Okay, uh, CC and QC? You know, not everything is chance. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say hell, you know, I'm not going to say hell to anything, you know, or any crown, man or woman, unless it's the crown of God. That's it. And, uh, you know. It just gets old with this, you know, and I see the people that try to come against anyone that is popular. The truth or movement is not even real on YouTube. If it's popular, if it's big, it's usually not real. It's usually they're, you're getting, there's agents, whether they know it or not, or they are letting you, allowing you to do misinformation because they're saying, ha, ah, this person's sharing some idiot, you know, information. Who cares, right? Let them do that. Well, when you get all that, ramp it up and everything 
all these people are supposed to be truth or truth or truthers and they're to pop they only allow misinformation truthers in or through you got to wonder you know and then anytime that you get success when you attack someone that's popular that they like you get all these little agents that come popping up out of nowhere and then they just like thumbs down and have all these uh, very similar they sound like the same agent or they sound like the same person almost they just come on pretending to be these people and acting this way to trigger you to do these things to make you angry to to make you look um, not credible to accuse you of every kind of thing in the book when they don't even know you or you're not familiar with who they claim to be a lot of these faceless ones okay you know what I've got a wide range of viewers and a wide range of different types of ethnics religions because people don't know that I don't float down any river with anyone in any boat that doesn't mean I don't uh, I don't have an open mind to things it just means I want to sail my own ship and if it happens to be you're on board with that you want to tie your boat to my boat or whatnot and we can all guide together and you decide to cut the rope anytime have at it that's the point okay don't be caught on certain people and start checking on people and let's not be quiet just because if you find someone that you like that you really like their information for a while and then you find out that they're leading you disinformation and you feel like Oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings. I really like them. I'm not going to I'm not going to do this to them or, you know, I don't feel right or you feel like, you know, that would be a bad thing to do. You're you're um you're helping mislead people if you don't alert people to falsehood. Okay? That love clerk, love you guys and, you know, remember don't be so Mr. Gullible, you know? Check out the Amanda show on YouTube and type in the man to show Mr. Gullible watch this short little video clip and it's funny and don't be that guy okay don't be a Mr. Gullible and you don't have to be a Mr. Bungle either and if you don't know who Mr. Bungle is you can check out who Mr. Bungle is and actually it's a band too by the guy that did the Faith No More music and um uh, Mr. Bungle is very interesting, old 90s music, you know, but it seems almost modern today in a weird way. Uh, but back then it was very strange. Now it's almost acceptable, you know, for mainstream, uh, but for mainstream today, you know, music. But, uh, you know, you don't want to be a Mr. Bungle, but you don't want to be a Mr. Gullible either. And you don't want to be what people have claimed I am. I am, which is, is not true, lukewarm. I'm not a lukewarm. Anyone knows me? No, I don't stand. I, it might seem, seem like I stand in a balance of po uh, uh, position of balance when it comes to certain things because I've understood and I, I've reached an area where I can see the balance in it and know how to balance and I'm not stumbling over it. But I'm not saying that, okay, that... Um, that just because um, you know one person tells you something uh, that uh, it's misinformation that, that that they're always wrong about everything else either you got to learn on your own but doesn't mean you can't be open-minded you know um, it's hard to explain this kind of stuff when you're trying to work a truther and you don't know who the hell is an agent you don't know who the hell is propped up and the people telling you that seem like the coolest truthers they're telling you oh yeah the guys at the if you don't bow down to the Illuminati then you just get crumbs and if you want any success then you have to at some point cross crossroad where you're cooperating with them willingly or unwillingly if you know it or not and being propped up so you gotta question those people when they're preaching that at you and teaching that to you trying to teach that and share that with you all the time and they share that with you, but at the same time, they're not uh, fully uh, going with it 
and they're not telling you, hey, look at all the fame, uh, fame and uh, fortune or money or uh, views and these kind of things that I'm getting allowed on YouTube. If they, if you're saying they don't allow it, they're not going to allow it unless you're with them. Then how are you so successful, with Russian vids, on this? Explain that if you can, if you want to, if you don't want to, or you just want to get angry and uh, go ahead and threaten my family. Try. I'll have a lawyer quicker than you can even try it because I got a time machine that'll let me know. By the way, Russian vids, I do have a time machine. Been in it. I can I can go back and forth. I can I can skip out of this reality. How do you like that? What do you think about that disinformation? And it's misinformation and disinformation because I could have just went to alternate reality A, B, or C if I wanted to and changed it. I could have learned the lesson backwards and forwards. I could have tried different things, got different results, and still got the same results no matter what. So there is a certain amount of power and control in this world. Okay? What I'm saying is who they want in there they're going to prop up, and if they don't want you, they're just going to keep sending those same agents to make you look bad and discredit you. Same people, saying the same stuff. You're on drugs, you're ugly, you're stupid, uh, anything they think that's going to make you angry or discouraged or afraid or intimidated or just not want to make videos anymore and try to keep going. So if you, if this happens to you guys and you feel like, you know, that you're being just attacked on all sides by all these people and it's probably because they are agents or whatever you want to call them and they're trying to keep you down they don't want your stuff up so usually a lot of these truth are people their channels they have a few views here a few views there they're probably more down to earth with the credible truth or reality than anyone uh any one of these other people would be that's highly successful at the same time they're telling you you won't get nothing but crumbs unless you bow to their syst the system that's in place the secret society okay so question for people to to think think for yourself and self and don't be afraid to call somebody out which I'm doing right now calling somebody out okay whether you respond in the proper way or not is up to you. I'm leaving it open for you to explain yourself, Russian vids, and try to maybe get your point across before I just discount you and discredit you. Because at a certain point, I'm going to say, no, I'm not going to listen to you anymore. Okay? If I'm going to catch you and call you out, we get rid of that. Like, like garbage. Like germs. Okay? We don't want it to spread and grow. It was just a little disinformation, whether willingly or unwillingly. That's what we need to find out. So you need to correct yourself. If you're telling people stuff about Asian Asiana Flight 214, and it's kind of old, but you're trying to only tell half the story, okay, then that's wrong. Now, are you doing that willingly? Or did you just not know that they have already called this out as a hoax or a gag and they got sued for this now if you say that then you can say yes but they're also just trying to have a lower guy take a fall for the higher guys that's all you could say too but not addressing it is worse and threatening people that just try to go against you just shows that you're in a controlling position and uh so you can uh, you preach one thing but it you're it's not panning out in your own life then uh, the results are the opposite of what you're preaching, then um, something's wrong, okay, Russian vid? So you need to really, you don't have to do anything I ask or say, but you know the, the challenge in the word is up there, so if you want to catch it and hold on to it, man up or man down, whatever, all right? Is that love Clark? But I don't appreciate anyone that does this threatening families and if you erased it maybe you were angry maybe you didn't mean to you just a uh, moment of anger you said something you didn't mean to people do that people like locker room talk people do things say things maybe they're not proud of 
Sometimes it's for different reasons, whether they're angry or just trying to get someone to like them more and to impress somebody or different things like that. But the point is, one way or another, you've got you to gotta come out with it, okay? If that's the case, then. But, you know, you can easily say that's the case as well. About If you did threat somebody and you raised your comments, they recorded it, and it's there. I never threaten anyone's family, ever, okay? And any truth are doing that. Guys, you got a question, all right? Is that Love Clark? Love you guys? Love.